if you've bought an e-bike kit, you need to put a pedal assist sensor on it. This is like a, an older type. Usually they're designed for the square taper type, which this isn't, this is a holotech. So imagine this is a square taper. It'd be something like that, the magnetic. I don't, whatever way you're meant to, that'll be sort of bolted on there somewhere. There'll be a gap there with the sort of square taper. I would put that on there. On the left side crank, so on the side without the chain ring. But this is a Shimano Holotech 2 type and it hasn't got a gap, so I can't use that. And in fact, for this one, it seems to be a one piece magnetic and this will be for a square taper type. And uh, so this doesn't have two bits, it's just one, but it still doesn't fit this Holotech 2. Here's a close up of this one for the Yossi Power. This would be on the left crank if you've got a square taper type. Not Holotech 2, don't know how that works really. But this seems to be the new type, I think, one piece. If you've got Holotech 2 crank set like this, Shimano, there's no gap or anything. They suggest buying a, a special one for the Holotech 2, which will go on this side, the crank side. And it seems this magnetic disc, especially for the Holotech, these points are 64 millimetres apart in diameter, so the, the magnetic dots, things ultra magnetic even, sticks to itself really hard, it's so powerful. And the idea is you'll put this on your 64mm chain ring, but I don't have one because mine's is 110mm, so I've got nothing to put that on. Math chain ring's too big. This is part of it. If you need this, you can try that yourself, but if you need this, this part seems to be called KM74C. This seems to be called King Meter Half Disc 64. I'm going to check if there's a King Meter 110. Well, I've not seen one yet. I'll keep looking. I mean, this is 110 millimeters diameter, bolt to bolt through the center. And uh, so that's, you can see how powerful that is anyway, but no way will that do for me. So I doubt it because the sensor would need to be away out here to match this. So I think it's unlikely. And that gets me to the main thrust of the video, the bolt circle diameter. You need to be aware of this. Man will call it the pitch circle diameter, but I don't know if that's just because I've shown chain rings without the bolts in them, you know. I think car tyres, they call them pitch circle diameter. But the sellers seem to call them bolt circle diameter, the BCD. So it's the same thing. It's the diameter of two bolts between the centre. So either that or that. This one would be 64 centi 64 millimetres. Mine's is 110 through the centre. So no use. Too big. This is a Shimano road bike crank set, the AFC 3000. So this is 64mm bolt circle diameter and I guess really that's 22 tooth chains, you know, the ones that are really small that they use in mountain bikes because there would be another chain ring there if it was a tre treble and the bolts would be a lot closer, you know, because on this as well you want to be on the bolts, you don't want to be on here. You know, because you'd be touching the chain. So, uh, ironically, they, these seem to be 64 millimetres across there, but that's no use to me, you know. Well, nearly. So, if you've got Holotech 2 and you don't have a, a, a chain ring with a 64 millimetres bolt circle diameter, which tends to be like 22 teeth, I think Google Gemini said you can get some up to 30 teeth. I don't think that's the case, because this is a 30 teeth. So 22, what you would look for in the Shimano site would be, you would look at your crank set and look for the, well they call it the PCD, the pitch circle diameter, but it's the same thing as the BCD, which sellers tend to call it, the bolt circle diameter. So from there to there, mine's is on in 10, no use. You would need to be 64 millimetres for that. And if you don't, then that magnetic disc won't fit. So if the 64 millimetre disc doesn't fit your crank set, 
what to do. Uh, at the moment, I don't know, but uh, this is what I'm thinking. One, buy a new bike. Well, the Calvin's cheapest road bike is about £250, you know, so, I mean, the alternative is to buy a crank set or something. So £250, you're getting a, a decent quality bike from the Calvin. But, of course, make sure that it doesn't have Holotech, because if it has Holotech too, you've got the same problem again. I checked their website and it doesn't say whether it's got Holotech 2 or not. I'm guessing not because the cheaper bikes tend to have the, the traditional square taper type, which is a sort of gap here, you know, and they've got that square thing in there. And so, yeah, I don't think it's Holotech 2, but you'll need to check. Idea 2, get a new Holotech 2 crankset that's got a, got a 64mm BCD chain ring on it, which was probably be 22 teeth or something. Tends to be mountain bikes, but 22 teeth is too low for me. I don't want it. I don't want it. Thing. I wonder what this is sticking to. I think it has the bolts. No, that's sort of magnetic as well. Yeah, uh, definitely a bolt. But this outer one, it doesn't stick to. And it doesn't stick to the plastic here either. So, yeah, you could get a Holotech to crank set. I don't know what one, you know. Probably a mountain bike one. I looked at gravel, I don't think there was a gravel one. You're looking for 64mm PCD as Shimano will call them, or PCD as the sellers call them. Uh, idea number three, you could take this whole lot out, take the Holotech 2 out basically and put in a square taper one. So you need to take the bottom bracket out as well. You need to get your measurements, make sure they all fit. So. I don't know enough to conf confidently say, but I think it is doable, you know. Because once you take the bottom bracket out, you've got here's a, a hole with a bit of thread in it, probably 20 TPI, um, which is pre pretty general. Uh, but one thing you've got to look out for is you've got to get the chain line, chain line right, according to Google Gemini, which is the centre here to a sort of, because I've got two rings here, it would be in between, that would be my chain line measurement. So uh, there, there, I think you really need a special tool to do it totally accurately, but if you don't get the chain line right, apparently your your uh, switching can be a bit off, things like that. I don't know how important that is. If I had a treble here, the chain line would be the centre to the, the middle, the middle chain ring. If I had one, it would be the centre to that one chain ring. An addendum idea for the Holotech 2, if you're keeping that, is these are, this is a two-piece crank set, the Holotech 2, but I've seen copies for sale that seem to be three-piece. So you could get a three-piece with a 64 on it, and you need to make up your own chain rings and all that, which I don't know how to do. So, I mean, I think that copy was like, uh, what was it, £50 or something? I think that included three, three rings, but it included a 22 tooth, which is too low for me in the front, you know. It's just... 22 is like going in a, a clown bike or something, uh, you know, a bike where you hardly go any distance. Well, that's my idea so far. I mean, a, a crank set may cost you, I don't know, you could be anything from like £30 from Decathlon to £90 or something. So buying a new bike for £250, if, it, if it's decent, as long as it's not Holotech 2, you know, it's not that, not that daft of an idea. This is maybe some common bolt circle diameters. Mine's is 110. That thing I showed you was 64 millimetres. I think that's common for mountain bikes. Probably the smallest you'll get. Um, so I don't know if these are correct or not, you know, for Shimano or whatever. And this is for the four bolt chain ring design because you, you also get five bolt. I don't know how they work out the diameter for five bolt. This is from a random website. As usual, when you look these things up, it's really hard to find. See if your man will just put their boxes, images of their boxes on their website, you know, because they don't always tell you stuff or, or they put them on separate pages and you can't find it easily. If they just put the boxes of their crank sets up with the ticks, all their ticks and the things they tick, you know, that would probably be good enough. It's a pity because Holotech 2 seems a, re a really good crank set. It seems superior to me than the old square taper type because everything's sealed there and the bearings are on the outside which is meant to give you a sort of better balance and it's a two-piece crank set oh yeah there we go guys two-piece that's attached to that 
I asked Google Gemini if, if I can take this off and they said no. But I'm wondering if you can, but at the moment I think no. Because somebody say, seems to be selling copy crank sites that are three piece, you know. But uh, yeah, this haul takes good, but it's not any good for uh, for uh, e-bikes kits unless you've got a unless you've got a uh, 22 tooth chain ring there or a 64 millimeter chain ring bolt to bolt. That's the bolt circle diameter. And now Shimano Q's has come in. It was announced last year, 2023. Shimano Q's is going to replace a lot of the of the uh, lower end mountain bike crank set ranges like Olivio and that. They think they're going to do the same to the race bikes. This is a Sora race bike. Um, so uh, with Q's, they still do Holtec too, but this spindle is attached to this side rather than that side. So. I don't know, maybe that means that so you can change crank sets easier, you know, you, you don't need to, they don't need to produce that as well. Apparently SRAM Dub have been doing that for a while, and that's maybe what Shimano Q's is copying, but this is a, a Sora, so, uh, and they're still going with the, the spindle connected to that side. Anyway guys, I could be talking rubbish, I'm just trying to give you something to chew on. If you've got a Holotech 2 road bike crank set, you know, you could be in a lot of trouble. You probably are. You really need to have a 64mm chain ring for that. Uh, that would be the BCD for this to, for that this thing to work. And you've got no chance with the one that comes with the kit. Yeah, the one with the kit seems to be a, seems to be a one piece and it goes on the left side but not on a Holotech 2. Yossi Power tell you to buy this, you can buy it at their, on their website. You can buy it on eBay, that's the cheapest I find it. And I think it's Yossi Power on eBay, but it was about £13. This could be like the whole kit, the Holotech 2 kit that they suggest. It's based on 64mm. It's anything from £13 to £28, depending on where you buy it. But uh, I gave you the number there recently, and there's another number for you to go on. But uh, it only fits 64mm, so unless you've got a 64mm chain ring, if you get a whole tech 2, you're still... Alright guys, that's it. It's just time for the for the uh, thumbnail and that. Uh, the most important part. This is 64mm. Uh, yeah, so if you've got a whole tech 2 road bike crank set, you know, you really are in a bit of trouble and all that, you know. Like what I am. Farewell, everybody. Farewell. I mean, this is how it came. At first, I thought I'd, I'd only get half of one, but it's so powerful, this thing. I can hardly get it off. Like, even when I try and attach them, they sort of stick to each other. Oh well, that's a good sign really, isn't it? It's not so bad that side, but uh, the other side rocks a lot there. Wow. 64mm, if you ever get a chain ring like that, you're very, very blessed.